in this exercise, we'll continue on to learn more about Cordova's uh, plugins that we can make use of within our application. In this specific exercise, we'll look at two different plugins that enable us to notify the user of something that happens on the device. So you have one way of putting notifications into the notification bar of your device and another way of popping up a short message on the screen for the user whenever something happens within our application. So in, we'll make use of two different Cordova plugins for this purpose, which leverage the capabilities provided by the underlying device in order to notify the users. What better way than to demonstrate to you directly what we are trying to achieve in this exercise. So here we have our application. What I would like to do is whenever I add any of the items from the menu to my favorites, I want to notify the user that the uh, action has been completed successfully. Now, of course, this is a contrived example to illustrate what we're trying to do, but this provided me with a good opportunity to illustrate how to make use of the notification plugins within our um, app. So let's go to the menu. So here we have the menu. So let me add an item from the menu to my favorites. So as you recall, we would just swipe left and then click on the plus button. Note that there is a message that shows up on the screen confirming that the item has been added to my favorites. In addition, you heard a short uh, alert sound in the background. And also you notice that some kind of a notification has popped up into the notification bar. So when you pull down the notification bar, you would note that a notification has not been put up in the notification bar saying add a favorite and the name of the dish. Again, let's do it one more time to understand how this works. So you can see that when you again uh, pull down the notification bar, you can see that a notification has been popped up. Also, you just saw the notification on the screen. So showing up a short notification on the screen is uh, what we, is achieved by using the Cordova Toast plugin and putting a notification into the notification bar is achieved through the Cordova local notification plugin. To use these plugins, the first step would be to install the plugins within your Ionic application. How do we do that? The first plugin that I'm going to install is the local notification plugin. To do that, at the command prompt, I type in Ionic plugin add and then the full list of um, details about the plugin. You can find this command in the um, written instructions next. Um, so let me go ahead and then execute this command. So this is how we install plugins, Cordova plugins into our Ionic application. So let me go ahead and then install that Cordova plugin. The second plugin that I'm going to install is the plugin for the toast notifications. To install the plugin for the toast notifications, add the command prompt, type in Ionic plugin add, and then this uh, long uh, URL that is given there. Again, this is av available for you in the um, instructions that follows this video. So let's go ahead and then um, install this plugin. So once we have installed the two plugins, then we can go ahead and then make use of them within our application. So uh, once the plugin installation is complete, let's now see how we make use of these two plugins within our application in order to pop up the uh, both the toast message and put a notification into the notification bar. To make use of the notification uh, plugins within our application, uh, recall that in the previous exercise we had already injected the ng Cordova into our um, uh, application module. So we no longer need to do that now. 
But in case you start out for the first time, make sure that you install to, to inject the ng Cordova into your application module. Since we have already done that, we don't need to do that again for this exercise. Now we can continue on by adding in the um, corresponding um, uh, functionality within our application. Here I have the controllers.js file open. And since I am going to support this feature inside my menu, uh, so I need to go to the menu controller and add in the appropriate code. Going to the menu controller, the first thing that I'm going to do is to inject the corresponding ng Cordova services in here. These are the wrappers around the plugins, the two plugins that we have installed there. So let me go ahead and inject the two here. So uh, right into, into this um, uh, controller definition here, I'm going to inject the Ionic platform, the Cordova local notification, and the Cordova toast. Recall that I need the Ionic platform in order to check that my device is ready. So that's why I inject the Ionic platform. Then I, I inject the Cordova local notification. So that is the ng Cordova service that makes the local notification um, plugin available to us within our Angular application. Similarly, the Cordova toast is the one that enables us to make use of the toast messages that we show up on the screen. So I have injected them there into my inline array. I also need to add those as parameters into my function. So let me go ahead and add those as parameters to my function here. So I add in the Ionic platform, Cordova local notification, and Cordova toast. Now, I want to be able to trigger this functionality when I add an item to my favorite. So recall that inside my menu controller, I have this function called add favorites. So let's go to that function in add favorites. So here you can see that we have the add favorites function uh, available for us there. Now within the add favorite function, we're going to add in the code which checks for the device being ready. So um, adding in that code. So here I am checking Ionic platform ready. Now, you need to make sure that the platform is ready before you can call the Cordova plugins. So that's the reason why any calls to the Cordova plugin functionality has to be enclosed inside the Ionic platform ready. So inside this function, I'm going to first insert the code corresponding to generating the notification to the notification bar. So let me insert the code and then we'll discuss what this code does. You can now see that I have added in the code using the Cordova local notification. The Cordova local notification supports a function called schedule, which takes a, an object as a parameter. The Cordova local notification plugin has several features for controlling the notifications. It allows you to add a single notification. It allows you to add multiple notifications. It allows you to update an existing notification, delete a notification, and also schedule a notification to be shown at a specific point in time and so on. So there are many features. I am using only the basic feature here, which will trigger a notification to be put into my notification bar when I call the add favorite function or when I click on the uh, add to favorite button in my menu. So in here, I am calling the uh, schedule function and then supplying the ID. The ID corresponds to the ID of the notification. Then I give a title. So you can see that that's the reason why in the title, the added favorite came up in the title. And then the text, I am setting it to be the name of the dish that has been added. So that's how I generate the notification that is shown in my notification bar. And also this, um, the use of um, the um, service here provides us with the promise. So inside the then and uh, 
function, you can both have the success and the error function being defined there. I've just defined the success and error functions there to just generate a message to the console log to tell me whether the item has been successfully added to the uh, list of favorites or not. So this part of the code allows me to put the notification into the notification bar. The second part that you saw in this exercise was the showing of the message on the screen in what we call as a toast message. If you are familiar with Android platform, you would see toast messages being popped up on the Android platform. This plugin supports the toast message kind of functionality, both an Android as well as as on an iOS device. So let me add in the code to show this message on the screen. So to do that, I'm going to make use of the Cordova Toast uh, service here. So adding in the code for the Cordova Toast service, you can see that in here, I call the Cordova Toast and the show function of the Cordova Toast. The show function takes parameter here. Here I am giving it a string here, which is saying added favorite. And then I also add in the name of the dish to my string. So this is a string uh, that I generate added favorite plus the name of the um, uh, dish that has been added. I can specify whether the message should be shown for a long period or a short period. Short means just a few uh, hundreds of milliseconds long will show it for a few seconds and then I can also specify exactly where on the screen the message should be shown in this case I say center so that's why the message is shown right at the center of the screen I can say uh, top or bottom if I so choose to so with this addition I am now able to show the toast message on the screen after making these changes Let's go ahead and save the changes and then we'll go and um, rebuild our application. Now this time I will show you the same application running on an iOS emulator. Switching back to our terminal, let me rebuild my application. So Ionic build iOS. Once the build completes, then I would uh, deploy it to the emulator. You can now see the application popping up in the emulator. So when the application comes up, we'll try to see how the functionality looks like on an iOS device. Here, I am showing the menu here. Let me add a couple of items to my favorites. So when I click on that, you see that the message is popped up on the screen. And also, um, when you pull down the notification bar, you would, see, you would see that the notification has been popped up into the notification bar here. So you can see how the notification information is delivered here, including the name of the dish that has been added to my favorites. So let me clear my notification bar. You can similarly add one more item to your favorites and see the message pop up on the screen and also the corresponding notification popping up into your notification bar. This completes this exercise. In this exercise, we have explored the use of Cordova local notification and Cordova um, toast in order to notify the user of some information or something that happens on uh, your device.